I'll be right back, everyone. This is going to be very interesting. Hello, <laughs> dear Susan, you're funny. Yeah, switch to English right away. <laughs> it's very different for me. Like the first work I started when it comes to spiritual matters was, was all in English uh, on my blog, but also my music. And I haven't been doing anything in German actually for a long, long time. Um, even though I am in Switzerland and I was born and raised in Switzerland. And many people, though, because my work was mainly before in English, are asking me, like, are you going to do English lives on Instagram or YouTube or what? Or maybe even TikTok. So now I'm doing that so that you guys can also, well, enjoy uh, the knowledge that we can share it together here. The topic today is twin flame talk, meaning we're going to be talking about twin flames, so-called twin souls is also what some other people say. Um, and of course, I can also do a reading for you. I got a few card decks here. For example, the Egyptian tarot. The Egyptian tarot is interesting because the ancient Egyptians invented the tarot, basically. And that's why I believe that this has the most energy when it comes to really looking into soul matters. I use it uh, a lot and I love it. But I also have this one uh, prepared here, which is a specific love tarot. And it's in English. So uh, you can ask me anything you want. But you can also ask me stuff about twin flames. You can also ask me um, about a particular situation that you have and where you maybe think that this is a twin flame situation or general information about twin flames. I'm here to teach. I'm here to clarify. I'm here to help you understand what it really is, especially now that it's a trend and there's a lot of people talking about it and most people don't know what they're talking about and i mean the people not guys like you i mean people that pretend like they know uh and they can give you like a counseling and such things hey corin <laughs> glad you could make it too it's an experiment, like I have no idea how TikTok handles this and if my stuff is even visible actually to uh, English speaking folks. Um, <laughs> um, that's why like I'm doing it a little bit late so that, uh, for example, also uh, US time, I don't know what time it is in Australia right now, but like so that basically guys overseas can join and listen in and ask stuff. And so, you know, my followers that usually contact me through the website or email or WhatsApp also, um, or my YouTube channel, right? Like the blog and such can also join here and uh, ask me questions. Of course, you're also welcome to share a story. Uh, you don't have to only ask questions. So that's why it's called Twin Flame Talk, and the readings are also a part of what I offer today. You'll find, in the meantime, many people on TikTok that are uh, doing like spiritual consulting or counseling. Hey, Corin, 
I like to call it consulting, um, especially when they talk about twin flames, I always say, ask them for their personal story. Like before you judge, if someone really knows what they're talking about, ask them what their experience is on a personal level. Because without having experienced it, you cannot know what you're talking about. I understand that you are asking me stuff in German because you're used to it, but this literally is an English life now. And uh, I've had a long day and I waited and on time, I'm here after midnight Swiss time. So coins, uh, the readings for 500 coins is just something that you can pay through TikTok, right? Um, it's like TikTok coins. Uh, I guess you can pay with different methods, including have it on your phone bill and such. Yeah, of course, you're going to make comments about my nose. So that's how you can um, pay here in this life. It's not that expensive. It's really just 500 coins. This is a start like for general, I uh, just wrote readings, you know. Um, we will be doing specific topics later on, but for now, we're just doing readings in general. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so you're saying, please give me information about a new job. When and where? Be you. That's a mean question. <laughs> yeah, well, you all know <laughs> that this nose has some history around it. What are you saying about Michael Jackson? <laughs> okay, see? See? Yeah, okay. So, well, I called her once. <laughs> the, um, the truth is that real twin flames will have emerging, the so-called twin flame merging or twin soul merging. And this includes physically adjusting to each other, meaning looking more and more like, looking twin-like, in fact. The term twin flame doesn't come from nowhere. Uh, it's not a coincidence that it's called that way. Okay. So I'm going to check for you real quick. Bijou, new job. Okay. Uh, if you say that one more time, you're blocked, like in an instant, okay? Don't be trying to attack my energy, I swear. I will bounce it back, okay? Biju. Okay, so first of all, you need to be aware that there's a lot of competition on the way regarding the job you really want. You're not the only one that applied for it. Mm, there will be a male figure that will help you to get the job that you desire. Uh, it will be like a job interview with someone male, maybe a boss or so, someone that has a say. So watch for that. If you have any job interviews that are uh, with a woman, that's not going to be the job that you'll get. Uh, this job that is coming here uh, will um, have you financially be able to cover everything you need and save some more money. No one can break my energy. They can, in fact, break their own energy trying to do this right now. Interesting, isn't it? You seem like MJ a bit. Interesting, when I start doing the English stuff, right? The energy is different. And it has been different also before. It's kind of interesting. Like when I started off in English about all of this stuff, with my music, with my blog, there were so many attacks. It was ridiculous. And then in German, it wasn't really that way. Mm, and now, that I'm doing a live on TikTok and just switching to English, which is just a language. People really get nervous. The people who have a problem with their twin flame, I'm saying directly. 
those are the people that have a problem with this aura and this energy. <laughs> uh, your no? Yes, I can. But today, right now, at this late time, uh, it's designed to be in English. <laughs> so if you want to ask me something for the cards, you can do so. I can do a reading for you for the 500 coins, as it says here, like TikTok coins. And I'm going to be doing it in English. So if you want to improve your English and such, here is a chance to do so. <laughs> yeah, this is very special to me. It's an orange uh, Rubin uh, stone and gemstone and it's silver it has all kinds of symbols on it that mean something to me including also the ankh the sign for eternity uh, male and female sign like lots of things that i put into it and it was charged in several rituals according to ancient egyptian methods at the dendera temple in egypt and this is something that I really value. It's also something that I do for you guys. But of course, I would have to prepare, meaning this is done in Egypt. It takes a, like travel. It's a more an expensive product that takes some time to produce. But then you have like a once in a lifetime piece of jewelry that no one else has. Susan, do you have a twin flame message for me? I would really, would really appreciate it. Okay, well. What I'm seeing right now is just a very peaceful energy. Like your twin flame is silent. He's not really saying anything or it doesn't feel the need to say anything right now. He just wants you to focus on this peaceful light is what I can say. It looks very white. It looks very calming. It feels very warm and it comes down on your crown chakra. All that he wants is actually that you stop questioning things and thinking too much right now. He says it's time to feel. It's time to go into the heart chakra and not be in your head. This is very important for the energy. So I guess that's the message. What do you mean by five hundred coins like a TikTok gift? Yes, exactly. That's how you do it here on TikTok. And, um, you know, we, in Switzerland, we have twins and all these things. And in America and such, you don't have that. Uh, so that's why we're just doing the TikTok coins at the moment. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be special. Tomorrow is going to be mixed. It's going to be German and English. Mainly German though again. But when I, so when I give you 500 coins, you'll do the reading. Exactly. El Your No. <laughs> That's a funny name. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be doing the Michael channeling. I'm not going to be using cards or anything. It's going to be pure channeling. It's going to be the first time I do this so openly. Uh, I know there will be haters attacking, but I don't care. And he wants that. And I'm going to be switching, of course, to English when I channel him so that I can just give you the message and, well, channel free flow in original tone, original language. And then I can also translate it for you if you speak German and all that. That's not a problem, but it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> and like I said, all of you can join, not just German-speaking folks. In fact, I don't have to translate it uh, for you if you uh, speak English anyway. But no personal questions about him. Thank you very much. <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> okay, so what is your question? Or what is the topic that you want me to look into for you?
I'm so excited about the life tomorrow. It will be nice. Yes, yeah, soon it yeah, will be very nice. <laughs> I'm excited too. Although I'm also a little bit nervous because I know that people will be trying to challenge me and test me uh, when I do that. It's automatically even the energy that I will open up that I felt many times in my life. People love attacking instinctively. So we will see. I don't know if you can like see my future, but I'm really interested in that. Okay, like future in general, like I can check in general what's um, coming towards you. But of course, like, see in general, I can look at many things. That's why I asked. Okay, all right. That's why I had asked for a question. So we will see in general what's coming ahead the next few days and weeks. Let's do that. Okay, so first of all, you're going to be challenged to really get a hold of your sexual energy, uh, your sexual drive, your energy, with who you connect. Um, it's very important that you do not have any energy exchange with people that block your energy and the lower chakras, let's say like that. Um, you will be coming into a lot of power when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. There you go. The next card already confirms it. It shows you that if you handle this correctly, you can increase your energy level, you can expand your aura, you can attract more success and manifest what you really want with that energy. I'm giving away some secrets here, but <laughs> the ancient Egyptians knew that. There will be also, though, a little bit of a difficult time. You could almost say a crisis that will happen. It's more personal. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the way you look at yourself. And it is, of course, like connected to what you really want. And it's like the stone in the way um, so that you can achieve your goals. So try to really work on your relationship with yourself and have more self-confidence and more self-trust and self-love this is what's uh going to help you like fuck off fuck off like right away you know the only person uh, celebrity that i want to hear anything about right now is michael because we're having a twin flame talk and i ain't joking when i do this, okay? Especially tomorrow. Okay, so anyway, let's continue. <laughs> um, if you use your five senses correctly in the next few weeks, you can also gain financial freedom. You can earn more, uh, maybe in a job, you can have more pay, more salary or maybe through saving and rebudgeting your stuff you can have more money available okay well you're gonna have to let go old habits that are not very constructive especially when it comes to that so that is the key you do not have to spend money for things that aren't important mm, do a budget do a nice new budget plan and follow through and then everything will come out better financially in the next few weeks. I guess the next few weeks also, if you can save up some money, it will be good because then you can use it for Christmas time <laughs> to buy presents for yourself and other people. Let me know if you have any more questions. What time are you coming live tomorrow? Uh, it will be late. Like, it will be really late just because I have so much to do and people are always asking for appointments. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> um, people are always like, I have private sessions in the afternoon and then I have some uh, family invite and then uh, I will be around. Like, so... Uh, business and private is taking up quite a lot of time tomorrow so I guess around 10 30 11 maybe even around the same time like now 
so what <laughs> late it's gonna be good you know like it's weekend so you guys in switzerland and europe and such you can join late it's weekend you don't have to get up early at least most of you i guess uh, not even if you work in a restaurant you would have to get up early here on sunday or so uh, maybe if you, if you work in a church but uh, i doubt you do that then you wouldn't be uh, talking with me probably doing this witchy stuff so <laughs> And then, you know, everyone in America and such can also join. So we're going to be doing it a little bit later. Yeah, um, I have seen someone today, uh, not in English, but in German, talking about Twin Souls. And I know in English you say twin soul and the life with Michael. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's going to be tomorrow. I'm not going to do two lives or so. I need the energy. So I'm going to have to chill on Sunday after this one especially. Uh, not that it takes energy from me. Uh, quite the opposite. It gives me a lot of energy from Michael. But I know that there will be like haters and such and energy vampires because that's like somehow our specialty to attract that. And that is what takes energy. So we will see. Maybe I'm also uh, just thinking a little bit negative uh, because of my experience or his experience uh, even more so. Yeah. He got in trouble every time he talked with the press. Do you notice? Like every time he actually opened up and tried to make people understand him more on a personal level, like giving an interview, even though he hated it, there were uh, problems afterwards. I have no idea why the stuff appears up there. I just noticed like three matches. What matches? Like, I am playing soccer around here. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, hello, La Loca, Evil, and Polly. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, this person I saw today talking in German, like in English, you have the term twin flame or twin soul. You don't hear people talk about dual soul even though you could, right? Like in German, you have Dualseele and Zwillingsseele. And there's a lot of people who try to say it's not the same thing. I've caught other people before also saying that twin flame and twin soul is not the same thing. And I'm like, mm, in English, it's very obvious that this is illogical. In German, you can quite sell it to people because people confuse it. They think dual soul, mm, duality maybe, like, so that's something different than a twin soul. No, it isn't. Dual means in this case, double, you know, dual, uh, like a dual, uh, like SIM card in the phone, for example. <laughs> and twin means also two, you know. A uh, twin is more precise. It shows you what is meant, like two similar um, beings in the same egg. If you think about siblings, here it's not an egg, it's the soul, the same soul, twin soul, you know. So I will be there for you as moderator. If any MJ hater will come, they have to do it. It's really nice of you. Thank you very much, dear Sumia. It's very helpful because um, I've been wanting to do this since a while and quite a few people had asked me and I also didn't really uh, tell much. I didn't even blog about it yet. So this is like a little test I'm doing here, like just the English part and such even alone, because I know that it's a totally different atmosphere. I also know that the whole conversation, in fact, about twin flames in English looks a little bit different. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit in German too, you know, like what I've seen today. 
Mm, and they were like trying to talk down on me, like, like, who are you? Mm -hmm. uh, a dual soul is someone that has the same incarnation code like you, not the same soul. I'm like, what incarnation code? And it's like, oh, I got this, I got this recently, like from the spiritual world, like it came in. Guys, don't forget, there are actually people in the world who have schizophrenia. Like, they hear voices, and these voices say illogical stuff, like incarnation code. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm? A twin soul, or a dual soul, as they say, uh, translated literally from German, is the same soul. Two halves of the same soul. It's simple. The truth is simple. The lies complex, manipulative, and trying to distract you from the very simple direct truth right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. so that's why it's important to me to do these English lives as well. And I know that there will be people coming at me also with this whole oh, runner chaser bullshit and all of that, that quite frankly frauds made up because they think they can sell this concept to all kinds of people oh you like someone but they don't like you back oh yeah they're running there's they're your twin flame mm -hmm. they're just running away oh they want to be with some they're marrying someone else they rejected you well they're running that's normal it's called runner dynamic they're still your twin flame how delusional is that you know like, if you are the same soul, if you belong together, if you have this type of connection, there is no such thing. And you know what chase, chaser means or chasing? It means stalking. They're basically saying, yeah, one of the two is stalking and obsessively thinking about the other, like, oh, my twin flame, 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 all day long. Like, that would mean that you're thinking about yourself the whole time. That makes no sense. It's very narcissistic. It has nothing to do with evolved twin flames that are something sacred, something positive, something that shows a high level of evolution and not a low level like, oh, I'm so dysfunctional. I'm having problems with myself. Oh yeah, uh, God made me meet my twin flame, but then I have to work on myself so that he likes me. Because, oh, I don't like myself, so he hates me and rejects me and wants to be with someone else. Bullshit. It's like this whole blame game is also very evil, if you ask me. And that's why it's important to me to uh, really clarify here. Shay, how you doing? <laughs> Are you up now? What time is it over there? It's so humid uh, here today. I don't know what's going on. In the morning, I had a really long day. In the morning, I was hosting a TV show uh, in German here in Switzerland. And uh, it was like at the border of Switzerland. Then we actually went to uh, Germany. Then we came back and like, it's a long ass day. Doing pretty good. It's 5 p.m. usually. I sleep because I work at night, but I'm up. Oh, you work at night, like all night long or what? Like night shifts? That's tiring. Oh my God, it's burning hot. Yeah, well, it's probably warmer over there. Um, here it's, yeah, it's stuffy. It's uh, humid. That's the problem today. Yes, ma'am, graveyard shift. <laughs> Why are you calling it that way? <laughs> yeah i'm glad you guys are here i know you have been supporting me or trying to support me also in the german lives but then you don't even know what we're saying and yes yeah, sometimes i say maybe a sentence to you and then that's it then i switch back to german because it's like lots of swiss and german people so that's my way of opening this conversation also for everyone that speaks English. I think it's important. Yeah, that's what we say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I got like about 20 minutes more. 
Can't wait to visit Switzerland. It would be nice if you can visit so you can see also the baby and all that. <laughs> but Deja has to come too. Me and Deja. Exactly. <laughs> that would be nice. And then we can uh, do some mountain trip and such. Like we have very heavenly looking mountains here, like 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 in the movie. And um, that is definitely something that I will show you guys if you come over here. If we have time, because first, uh, you know, you know about Deja, right? So we're waiting for the little one first, <laughs> and then we can do this. That would be nice. Yes, I'm so excited for her. Me too. And uh, yeah, it went quick. But for some reason, I somehow felt it like, you know, how it works with Michael and how he lets me know certain things. And so I, I knew that this is going to happen. And when she told me, it was like a deja vu type feeling. It's funny. That's her name, right? Like, I knew it. I knew that this will happen in a very young age, basically, for her. We've been planning to meet up so I can help her set up the baby room. Yeah, that would be nice. And I'm going to be trying to send something from here. I just have to figure out how this stuff actually arrives over there without trouble and getting back to me after three months, like uh, with the whole... Um, postal services it has been really messed up since the corona times but i'll find a way <laughs> have to do something like um uh how you call it over there um ups and such like these postal services these private type companies is much better than the official post mm hmm Yeah, so I'm wondering, like, I think TikTok is showing, like, if I'm in Switzerland physically, they're probably showing my stuff mostly to German-speaking folks, um, you know, based on my location. So I'm really wondering, uh, what did you mean by getting hold of my sexual energy? <laughs> mm, I meant that... You do have a particular energy that you can use in a constructive way or in a destructive way. If you share it with someone that takes your energy, you're not going to have energy left. It's your life force also in, in the same time. Uh, if you keep it to yourself from bad people and share it with fitting folks only, if you understand what I mean, as in having sex and such, only with someone that fits to you, that has a positive energy, that isn't an energy vampire. You can use that energy to manifest things that you want. If you lose that energy, you cannot manifest the things that you want. Does that make sense to you? That's why the ancient Egyptians also had the Ankh. The Ankh is a representation of the merging the union of male and female sexual spiritual energies like as in twin souls meant basically in its basics of course that doesn't mean that it has to be uh, man and woman only uh, it can also be man and man and woman and woman and all that but mm, it's about the energy you understand what i mean The good part is <clears throat> all of you, no matter, well, not all, but no matter where you are, most of you have WhatsApp. I also have a WhatsApp business number that you can reach from anywhere in the world. I do get messages from England, from Ireland, from America, especially on my WhatsApp business. I can do calls on my WhatsApp business. Are you still on Telegram? Yes, I am. So write me there. 
So all these things are very helpful if you have also an express question or if you want a reading, um, if you have a problem going on and you need a phone appointment, that's the way to go. You can also go through my website. You see the website address in my uh, profile here on TikTok. And that's like the private way to reach me. Hey, Deja, you made it. How you doing? We were just talking about you. <clears throat> it's almost one in the morning here. It's so warm. <laughs> and my baby is sleeping. So in case he wakes up and cries around, I would have to cut off the life, of course. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's just like today has been a really long day. Tomorrow is going to be an even longer day, but fun. And um, it's kind of warm today. Like it's so humid. It's stuffy. I don't know. And by the way, uh, Latoya is in Switzerland doing some plastic surgery or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got a message from a TV friend uh, telling me that, and I'm like, <laughs> and then see, this is what's interesting, and then I, um, I felt Michael's thoughts about it, like a little bit sad, a little bit like, oh, what a pity. And at the same time, like, can't believe, like, she backstabbed me like that. We had a good time. I was always there for her. And he talked about that song that she had made back in the day. I don't know if you guys know it because she didn't really make a lot of music was like this album that she once made where um, the producers actually somewhere in uh, what was it Austria or so had used Michael's and Diana Ross's uh, voice to basically put layers of it on her voice and make her sound like a better singer than she is. Now I told you some technical detail and back in that uh, these days she had a song on that album, I forget the name of the album, and it's about Michael and how much she loves him and he's her brother and this and that and he runs to the phone like whenever she needs him and shit. That's what the song is about. And after that, she's like messing with him and backstabbing her own brother. So he was thinking about all that, like we had a whole conversation going on. <laughs> Hey, Sage, how you doing? Yes, have you heard the song, Deja? You should check it out. I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. If not, I'll send it to you. Never heard of it. Oh, really? You should check it out. I'm not trying to promote her. I'm just trying to show that, yeah. I mean, for, for all, like, if you think about all his brothers and sisters, she lived with him. She lived at Neverland. He was really there for her, like, because she didn't really make money like the others and such. And then she kind of went astray. I found a cat and she loves me, but I can't keep her. Hmm. So what are you going to do? That's kind of sad. Because if you give her to an animal shelter, you don't know uh, what her fate will be, you know. Why can't you keep her? Maybe this is fate, you know, that you found the cat. <laughs> mm 
I'm trying to find her family and I feel like it is fate but my grandma doesn't like animals. So? Like you keep the cat, she doesn't have to feed it or have anything to do with it, you know? How has the baby been? Very good, he's sleeping. Um, the teeth part is really bothering him sometimes, but right now he's sleeping peacefully. It could be though that like in half an hour or so or before he just wakes up and cries around and then I have to really like, you know, take care of him. <laughs> Your no, so should I not have sex with someone I didn't really understand? Could you maybe do it in German? Um, also, du sollst nicht Sex haben mit jemandem, wo dir deine Energie klaut. Du sollst nur mit jemandem Sex haben, wo es, wo es stimmt, wo es passt. Sonst gehst du Gefahr ein, dass deine Energie blockiert. Und diese Energie brauchst du, um Sachen anziehen und manifestieren, wo du wirklich willst. Das ist eine Lebenskraft, das ist nicht nur sexuelle Kraft, das ist eine Lebenskraft. Es ist eine Energie, die sehr bestimmt, wie wir uns auch fühlen und sehen, unser Selbstvertrauen sozusagen, unsere Aura-Ausstrahlung. Und das wiederum zieht eben an, was wir ja manifestieren. Darum. So, I had to say this in German. Susan, do you still feel that my energy is blocked, uh, guarded? Let me see. It is much better like in the heart chakra, but I have to tell you, Shay, uh, there's a lot of pressure on your solar plexus, which is below the heart chakra. It's right here, like above uh, the belly button. Mm, you have been holding back certain things that you should tell, like you should be honest with people, especially if they done something that went too far across your limits, like don't just um, accept it, you know. Like, be, be more out there with your energy. Digest it, so to speak. Let it breathe. Um, do some sports. That can also help to get rid of that um, energy so that it doesn't get stuck in the solar plexus. Because the solar plexus really stores all those things. And you know, your twin soul can always help you with that. Are you still doing twin flame situation checks? Of course. Poor baby, I know it hurts them so bad. Yeah, sometimes it's really not cool, but he's handling it like a man. <laughs> yeah, I need to be more active. Yeah, I feel like a pressure that can also, if I'm uh, like honest, it can cause bloating and such things. Like that energy that is stuck in the solar plexus can even like um, affect your physical shape so you know try to get rid of that would you mind checking for me no i don't okay <clears throat> mm, very interesting it looks very interesting there's a lot of yellow inside your aura but also green around it and that comes from your twin flame because you're supposed to heal the way you express yourself, the way you communicate to the outer world. So the problem isn't external, uh, internal, it's external. Um, you don't really come across the way you really are. You have much more light and much more positivity actually inside of you. And your twin soul would like to help you really connect more to people and improve your relationships in general and friendships. Relationships as an also love relationship. Love it. Um, also, den Kollegen kann man gerne aufs WhatsApp Business schreiben. Ich schaue mir das gerade morgen am Morgen an. Vielleicht schaffe ich es auch heute Nacht noch schnell. Aber jetzt ist English life. <lacht> Shay, not really. I do miss my twin flame and I feel like he showed me he was there earlier when I tried to sleep. Okay, so why don't you just 
trust him and let him work on your energy you know that this is possible and you know that he's always there for you and it's just we can also block it you know by having doubts um by not really taking care of it like every relationship needs to be nurtured and taken care of you can't just be like oh yeah hmm, yeah this is my husband and shit like i'm just gonna ignore him but it's my relationship no it's an alive thing it's a living um, dynamic you have to um, give it water like like a flower you know so it doesn't dry up <laughs> So yeah, Susan, do you feel an energy vampire around me or is everything okay? No, I do not feel an energy vampire around you because your twin flame is protecting you. So even if someone was close by, uh, you wouldn't even notice it and you wouldn't lose any energy. So it's very important that you keep trusting your twin soul because the world is full of people that unawarely do energy vampirism. So like that. You know you're good to go shay yeah that's what it was i kind of disregarded him and was more focused on work and stuff see that's all it is and it's totally okay he can hold himself back and you uh, focus on your life like that's also his job he's not supposed to interfere but he's also there for you whenever you need it and you have to reserve some time some quality time to spend with your twin soul and therefore also with yourself even if you have work and other things to do, you have to take care of yourself as well. Creature of the night, when I have dreams of Michael, you're in there too, it's really cute. Yeah, well, that's normal. And we have a few other folks in here who have uh, experience with that, right? Um, yeah. That's the whole twin flame thing. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so it's 1 a.m. I've been uh, live now for one hour. And uh, to be honest, like, um, there's no more energy. This has been such a long day, like getting up really early for the TV studio and such. I'm really tired. And tomorrow is going to be an even longer day, like with the private sessions and all that too. But I'm going to be back live tomorrow, doing the whole exclusive Michael channeling, like no cards and that thing. He will be really answering the questions. So don't miss out on that. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Nighty night. <laughs> you too. Rest well when the time is right over there. and. Uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for having been here. I wish you a wonderful and calm night. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> night, night, Corin.